Tate, first of all, congratulations. A big victory for you against a very unpleasant opponent. Tell us about your initial feelings right now. Oh, definitely. I feel very happy. And yeah, she has been a problematic opponent for me. I lost two games to her in the American Cup last year. Uh, but of course, I'm very happy about this result. And she's a very good player. So I'm definitely feeling really good. And it felt quite smooth from our perspective. You definitely kept control and uh, your uh, timing was very good as well. You played that move G4, kind of forcing her to go for this queen trade. At what point did you feel like you're fully in control of the game? Oh, when she went d5 at the end. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what happened at the end because, like, the whole time I was thinking, just don't lose control of the position. You're up a pawn. Your her position is completely atrocious. Like, you should be winning. But then somehow her rook got to h1, her bishop got to f4, and uh, I just felt like maybe I lost control a bit. But um, I mean, I didn't really have time to really think about it uh, too much. What how did happen? But I think in, even in the final position, if she doesn't blunder. I think her rook on h1 is actually quite misplaced, and I can think about sacking on f4. Or I can, after I went before, if she moves her rook back, I thought I can just start pushing my pawns. And I think here it should be mm -hmm. maybe b5 even, b5 or, a4, or a4. I don't know which way I want to. Yeah. No, that, that was. I think here already it should be straightforward. Yeah, yeah. Did you feel like she lost patience towards the end? She didn't like defending these unpleasant positions, this lost position, in fact? Um. Yeah, probably. I mean, things really went bad for her from the opening. I, I think after bishop f5, immediately I got a huge initiative. And um, I think the end game, OK, I know the end game it has to be very good for me. I think she's supposed to take on f3 as far as I remember. But here, my initiative, I think, is very good because um, attempting to put something like five. OK, this looks scary, I think, because I have the g file. But mm -hmm. I don't know how realistic my attack is. But what we got in the position, I think, is just uh, supposed to be very good for me. Yeah. Again, your timing was very well. This g4 move followed by knight to b3. I think this was an important move as well, just to ask questions. Where is your queen going? What if she goes queen to a4 and she tries to keep the queens on the board? What uh, was your plan in this I position? Think I think her knight is getting trapped here mm -hmm. somehow. F3? I mean, she's losing something here. F3? Yeah. Yeah, F3 I think I had something even better. If she goes knight okay, g5, maybe you can even take. Like h4, okay, here I can. h4. No, I don't have h4. Yes. f4, I think, is. No, no, this is very bad. Yeah, f4, and then I just g5, f5, I just push my pawns. I yep. think with the queen on a4, my attack will be huge here. Yeah, yeah. No, very controlled game. Congratulations, Tatev. Guys, any questions for no. our winner? Our congratulations, Tatev. Keep it up.